Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning and I am ready to work. It is awesome weather outside today. Not too hot, not too cold. Just perfect for now. It's going to get up in the 80s later, so it's going to kind of heat up a little bit. But speaking of heating up, I'm going to be heating up my smoker here in a little bit. I'm going to be cooking up some nail guy ribs. That's just one part of the video today. I'm also going to update you guys on what I've done out in the garden since yesterday. I did plant a few things, so I wanted to keep you guys updated throughout the whole process. I also bought a whole bunch of animal feed that I have to take out to the barn. As soon as I step outside, these animals are going to go nuts because I haven't fed them this morning and, you know, they're like kids. They always cry until they get what they want. So let's go ahead and head outside and uh, let's get to work. Guys, you ready for this? They're gonna start screaming. Here they go, watch. As soon as I hear the door shut. Ooh, I look like a ghost. Let me uh, darken this up. Holy cow, people. I could go as a ghost for Halloween. That's more like it right there. All right, didn't wanna blind you people. What do you guys think of my overalls? These things are going to be uh, getting used constantly out here, especially during the winter time. See the cats running. Baxter running. I still don't remember the gray cat's name. I always call it just gray cat. The black one I renamed to Shadow, but the gray cat's starting to follow me around as well. What's up, kitty? All right, guys, I made it out to the barn. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put you down on the tripod here in a second because I have to fill up all the bins with food. So let's get to work. Guys, who needs a gym membership when you live on a farm? All right guys, so see over here? I got my uh, all stock sweet feed for the goats. Got the 16% layer feed crumble for the uh, quail and for the baby chicks. It's time to put them in the trash cans over here, fill them up and move on to the next chore. All right guys, I know earlier I said it's perfect weather outside, but I'm already sweating. It is hot, I live in Texas. Besides the point, it's mid-October. It should be getting cool already, so let's fill up these uh, bins and quit talking. One down, one more to go. I should have lifted weights in high school. Guys, it's days like this that it's considered my day off, but as you can see, it's never really a day off when you live on a farm. There's always something to do, but. Get this one dumped in there. All right, that's what I like to see. Filled up to the top. Yeah, buddy. All right, now let's get this uh, poultry feed and put it in this other can. Don't worry, Katie, I got your food next. Well, I 
guess the whole bag wanted to go in. feed only fills up half of the trash can. That's fine. I don't go through it as fast as I do with the all feed. I usually put out one scoop of the poultry feed for the chickens and for the quail. And then for the sweet feed, I put out two bucketfuls and then give them some hay and then let them just uh, free range the yard all day long. All right, guys, all the animals are fed. They're good for the day. I'll come back out at the end of the day and check on them, see if they need more feed. But I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the garden here in a second and show you guys what I planted. Yes, I didn't plant from seed this year. I had a late start, but you know what? I wasn't even planning on doing a fall garden, but I kept getting asked, are you doing one, are you doing one? So I figured, uh, why not? I'm a beginner. I don't, I don't know if I've ever done a fall garden before. We did a garden last year, but we didn't really have too much of a fall garden plant, I guess you could say. But heading out to the garden right now, I had uh, asked a bunch of you guys what uh, what I should plant. And you guys gave me a lot of great suggestions. There's a lot of stuff that I probably wouldn't eat, I'm just being honest. Plus, if I can get this gate unlocked with one hand while I'm filming, uh, boom all right but you guys gave me a great great suggestions on what to plant some of it i did some of it i didn't so let's check out what i did put in the ground all right guys so in this section i got some garlic from bumblebee junction mark uh sent me some over and said uh buried about an inch in the ground and then put some hay over it so that's exactly what i did then i have two rows of onions i love onions i can eat that stuff on everything so I do have a one, two, three, four, four different sections over here in this first bed. Second bed over here, I do have some Georgia collards right here. Of course, they look like they're laying down because I just planted them in this morning. Then over here, I have a row of broccoli. I love broccoli. So hopefully this will grow really well. And then in the middle here, I just uh, put two more rows of those onions. So I got that bed over there full and this bed over here full this one is still empty I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it yet and then like I said the last one of there is full of mulch that I'll end up putting over the rest of these once they uh, catch the roots and start growing really well then I'll put the mulch all around them Guys, check this out. I still have onions growing up from the old garden. There's a whole line of them. And it goes right into the new garden. That's pretty crazy. I thought my grapevine had died off, but look at this. It's starting to turn green again. That's crazy. It's got a few leaves up at the top. And then down here at the bottom, it's got a lot of new leaves. So that's awesome. I can't wait to start having some grapes grow in on this thing. So guys, if you're new to the channel, when Jason and Jaylena lived here as well, we had a garden that was roughly 30 feet by 60 feet. It was big. It was a lot to maintain. Once they decided they were going to be moving down to South Texas, I tore down the fence, mowed all the uh, old garden up, and then I built a new fence over there, which is roughly, I think it's 12, or actually, I'm sorry, it's like 16 by 30. So I condensed it quite a bit built in the new raised bed so I didn't have to weed everything all the time. If there are weeds that grow through it, it's fine. It'd be a lot less to do than have to maintain a garden that's triple the size. So if you are new to the channel, there have been a lot of changes here recently in the past few months. So this is one of them, the garden, and I'm absolutely loving the way it's turning out. 
So here's my Texas fire pit. I put the sand to good use last night. You can still see up there that there's still some wood that's on fire that's smoking a little. I'm gonna go ahead and use that and put that in my smoker over there when I cook up my uh, nail guy ribs. And then I'll also have a special treat, which I'll show you guys here in a second that I've never cooked up, but I've always wanted to try. All right, guys, along with the nail guy ribs that Jason shot on our family ranch, I also have some alligator. I've never tried alligator before, and I wanted to smoke some alligator. So in this video, I'm gonna be adding in some uh, sea salt, fresh ground sea salt, fresh ground black pepper, I like to try new things. If it doesn't come out good, I know not to do it again. Some uh, Creole. Slap your mama Cajun seasoning. A Little bit of chili lime seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. And then a little bit of this tasty zingy cilantro lime zest garlic seasoning. All right, just gonna run these together like this, get that seasoning all over the place. All right, this looks good. Probably gonna throw a little bit more on there just to make sure all the sides are covered evenly. A little more of the, the chili lime. Creole. And a little bit of slap your mama. All right. All right guys, now that we have our alligator season, it's time to wrap it up in foil and get it ready for the grill. All right, just getting another piece of foil ready. Just add them in the middle. You're thinking, why don't you just put foil over this one? I don't know. I like to be difficult. Like I said, I've never tried alligator before, so it's the first time for everything. Any of my Florida people out there that know how to cook some gator, hit me up. I just like smoking stuff, so uh, that's part of the reason why I got these, just to, just to try it out. All right, gator's ready. Let me grab the nail guy real quick for you. Nail guy ribs are ready. Guys, I think it's time to start a fire. All right guys, for today's cook, I'm gonna be cooking with mesquite wood. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna let this burn down a little bit and then go inside and get the meat and bring it out. All right, the time has come. It's time to put on the, the nail guy ribs that I have and also the gator. I'm excited to cook this. Never tried it before, like I said earlier, so you live and you learn and you'll see what works and what does not work. All right guys, so I'm gonna put the ribs on closer to the fire and the gator further away because the gator is a lot thinner and it should cook a lot quicker. I did fill up a container full of water to help keep in all the condensation, make everything uh, 
just stay as moist as possible. So I got everything placed where I want it. It's time to close it up and let this thing cook. I tell you what guys, I love these overalls. Check this out. It's got an extra pocket for a beer. Oh man, this stuff smells delicious. I never knew that gator looked so much like chicken when it was cooked. It looks almost the exact same to me. But while that's cooking, check out this, guys. Rescued is my favorite breed. How cool is that? It's like perfect for my lifestyle. All right, guys, dinner is served. I got alligator, some potato salad, some beans, and some nail guy ribs. Yeah, buddy, check out those ribs. Ooh -wee. Never had alligator before. Looks just like chicken to me. I'm about to try this out and see what it tastes like. All right guys, it's been a long day, done a lot of work, did a lot of barbecuing. I cannot wait to try this gator out. Never had alligator before, so let's see what it tastes like. To me, it looks just like chicken. It's crazy. It doesn't taste like chicken. I don't think I've had anything that actually tastes like that before. Like it's good, but it's got a, I don't know, somewhat of like a mixture between fish and chicken, I guess. It's very good. Hmm. I don't know. If any of you have ever had alligator before, how would you describe the taste of it? I don't know. All I know is it tastes good to me. I don't know. I don't know what else it, what else it tastes like, people. Time for these nail guy ribs. Hoo-wee. That's what's up. Straight from the Crocker Ranch, people. Man. I put dry rub on there yesterday. Let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. <clears throat> Had it smoking for about, I don't know, four hours. Took off the foil. Put on some barbecue sauce and some other stuff that I can't tell you what I put in it because it's my recipe. But I tell you what, that has a nice kick to it. Man, that is, that's some good stuff. And then here's some of the beans that I made the other day. Can't go wrong with homemade beans, people. Hmm. 
And of course, wash it all down with some potato salad. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I tell you what, I'm about to be stuffed. Check that plate out. Man, tell you what. Anyways, I enjoyed cooking for you guys. I enjoyed showing you my garden, the way I have it set up right now. There's more to come. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.